Welcome to Economics class. This is Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, today we are going to discuss production possibility curve. Production possibility curve is also known as transformation line or transformation curve. As we all know, human wants are unlimited. To satisfy these unlimited wants, we own limited resources, not only limited, but they have alternative uses. Similarly, the economy as a whole to have scarcity of resources compared to all the people in the economy want to have. In that situation, every economy has to decide how to allocate its scarce resources to produce different goods and services. Let us assume that the resources are given and technology is given. With this, the economy can have n number of combination of different types of goods and services. So that is referred as production possibility set. That means it is a collection of all possible combination of goods and services that can be produced with a given resource and technology. Production possibilities. The possibility of an economy can produce a set of different combination of goods and services with the available resource and technology. Now let us understand production possibility frontier or production possibility curve. It is a graphical representation of all maximum output possible combination of two goods that can be produced with a given resource and stock of technological knowledge. So when we represent graphically, this production possibility curve shows all maximum output possible combination of two goods that can be produced with a given resource and technology. To understand this concept, first let us discuss assumptions. The first one is resources are fixed and resources can be transferred from one use to another. That means the resources are given and resources can be used for the production of A product or for the production of B product. Resources are fully and efficiently utilized. That means there won't be any wastage of resources or under utilization of resources. The third one is resources are not equally efficient in production of all the product. It means that the resources are very good in the production of A product, but they may not be suitable for the production of B product. For example, take an example of land. The land may be best suited for the production of rice, but the same land may not be a best suited for the production of apple. So that is one thing. And next one is technology remains constant. That means the technology remains constant and it won't change and only two goods are produced. In our example, we are going to consider only two goods that is corn and cotton. We can produce n number of goods and services in an economy. But in our example, only to understand we have taken two goods as we can represent these in a L-shaped diagram and we can show one good on x-axis and one good on y-axis. So we are assumed that we are going to produce or an economy is going to produce only two goods. Let us understand production possibility curve with the help of production possibility schedule. With available resources, an economy can produce two goods. One is corn, another one is cotton. So if an economy is going to use all its resources to produce only cotton, then the maximum unit of cotton it can produce is 10 units. If an economy uses all its resources only to produce corn, 
then the maximum unit of corn it can produce is 4 units. Even an economy has other possibilities like B, C, T. An economy can produce 1 unit of corn and 9 units of cotton or 2 units of corn, 7 units of cotton or 3 units of corn and 4 units of cotton. So it has different possibilities. Now an economy has to choose which possibility of corn and cotton is suitable for their economy. Let us understand production possibility curve with the help of diagram. On x-axis corn is measured and on y-axis cotton is measured. If an economy uses all its resources to produce only corn, then it can produce 4 units of corn. If an economy uses all its resources to produce cotton, then it can produce 10 units of cotton. In other combinations like B, C, D also it can produce with available resources. Any combination lies inside production possibility curve then it means that resources are either underutilized or they used resources in a wasteful manner. Any combinations lies outside the production possibility curve then it is called as unattainable combination because resources are not enough to produce that combination of goods and services. So here we have two types of combination of goods. One is attainable combination, another one is a unattainable combination. So attainable combination includes all those combinations which lies on production possibility curve and which lies below the production possibility curve. Unattainable combination which lies outside the production possibility curve. If any combination lies inside the production possibility curve, any combination, it may be any combination of goods and services which lies below the production possibility curve, it means that the actual output is less than the potential output. That means all those combinations like A, B, C, D, E are the potential, potential of the economy. Economy can produce this maximum possible combination of corn and cotton by using available resource and technology. If any combination lies inside the production possibility curve, it means that actual production is less than the potential output and any combination slice inside the production possibility curve is also known as underutilization of resources. Let me take an example of underutilization of resources. In India we know that it is rich in human resource. If labors are not fully employed then we cannot produce a Output equivalent to the potential output. Our output, our economy's output will be less than, that is actual output of India will be less than the potential output of a Indian economy. Let us understand few more concepts with the help of production possibility curve. An economy was producing a combination B, that is 1 unit of corn and 9 units of cotton. Now economy want to move from combination B to C in order to have one more additional unit of corn. In that situation it has to give up two units of cotton. That means to have one unit of corn economy must sacrifice two units of cotton. This we call it as opportunity cost. The cost of next best alternative that is sacrifice to produce a particular good. It is also called as economic cost or alternative cost. Now let us understand this opportunity cost with the help of this 
production possibility schedule. Let us assume that economy is producing 0 unit of corn and 10 units of cotton. When it moves from A combination to B combination to have additional unit of corn, it is sacrificing 1 unit of cotton. And to have one more unit of corn, it is sacrificing two units of cotton. When it moves from combination C to D, to have one additional, one more additional unit of corn, again it is sacrificing, but that sacrifice is keep on increasing, that is three. Now when it moves from combination D to E, you can see here the sacrifice of cotton has increased to 4. That means marginal opportunity cost is keep on increasing. Because of this reason, the production possibility curve is convex to the origin. You can see marginal rate of substitution for having each time additional unit of corn. It is sacrificing cotton but not same units that cotton sacrificed at each time is keep on increasing. Because of this the production possibility curve is always convex to the origin and this is because of the assumption what we made, resources are not equally efficient in the production of all the goods and services. Dear students, you can see in this diagram, this black color production possibility curve is shifted right side as well as left side. If production possibility curve shifted towards right of its origin, then it implies that economy is growing. The growth of an economy is increased. When production possibility curve can shift towards the right side means when there is a technological advancement or new technology is used, when resources are increased or when there is an advanced education and training is given to human resource, then the efficiency of labor or because of new resources or because of advanced technology, production possibility or the capacity of an economy is going to increase and it can shift towards the right side. Similarly, there may be a retardation. Retardation means decrease in the growth of an economy. When the production possibility curve shift downwards or towards the left of its original production possibility curve, this may be because of decrease in the technology or destruction of resources or lack of education and training. Because of inefficiency of the economy, inefficiency of resource or maybe using a outdated technology, the efficiency of the economy is going to decrease and production capacity of an economy is going to move towards the left of a original production possibility curve. Dear students, make use of notes on production possibility frontier. It is important for four marks. Next topic, utility analysis. In that, law of diminishing marginal utility we are going to discuss. Thank you dear students. If you like, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.